what's good you guys welcome back to another video let's talk about making beats faster the other day i was watching nick mira making beats to find some inspiration to make beats actually i got this tip from chris pancelan so big shout out to him and the video was titled nick mira making uh, fire two fire beats in 10 minutes after watching the video i was really surprised man how can he make two good beats in less than 10 minutes and I jumped to the comment section and found some comments saying, man, I can't even make a bass line in half an hour. I can't even make melodies in an hour and so on. Very uh, few seem to really enjoy the beat. A uh, few minutes later, I watched Cash Money AP making beats for Glock 9 and uh, found the same type of comments in his videos also. So before actually jumping uh, to the actual tips and tricks, I want you guys to understand one simple thing. As a producer, making beats faster shouldn't be our goal. Our ultimate goal is to make beats that we can enjoy. Cashman, AP, Nick Mira are making beats for years. I can tell you they would have made uh, more than 2000 beats at least, that's the bare minimum I could guess. So they made beats again and again and again, day in and day out. Making such beats faster requires dedication, experience and on top of everything, you need love, passion towards the craft. If you put money before your craft, it won't happen. Making a beat is a journey. Did you notice the word I mentioned, craft? Yes, making beat is a craft. As the word denotes, you have to craft every single thing. Craft a beautiful melody, craft a hard knocking drums if you wish and so on. I totally understand some days you can't even make a beat even after banging your head for several hours. I've had these days and I bet even Nick Mirror and Cash Money AP would have had these days. But the thing is they didn't give up. They just took their time to relax and come back the next day to make beats. And these are the time you should understand you need a break and you need to relax a bit. So with all the philosophies aside, let's talk about the actual tips. So the first tip I have for you guys is, is to know your shortcuts. So if you watch their video closely, they pretty much use all the useful shortcuts every single time. So understand how your DOW works and learn the shortcuts. So the second tip is to learn music theory if you haven't already. I know this sounds cliche but uh, it really helps and also learn to play keyboard. This will help you to translate your melodies much faster than clicking in the notes. So the third tip, this tip really helped me a lot. Uh, the third tip is to use your emotions. Yes, you heard it right. Use your goddamn emotions to make beats. If you feel sad or if you feel uh, or if, if you're feeling down, make a laid back melodic uh, slow beat. If you're happy or if you feel energetic, try to make a bouncy up tempo beat. So again, uh, learn basic chord progressions that help you to translate your mood into interesting chord progressions. Uh, I think this might sound weird, but the fourth tip helped me a lot. It is to watch your favorite movie scenes or a music video of your favorite artist. So do this thing, uh, mute the audio and try to make a beat. Imagine the director of the movie or the artist of the music video is asking you to make a beat for them. If you had to make a beat for that scene or a video, how would you do it? Put yourself in that scenario and try to imagine yourself sitting in front of, um, sitting in front of them to make beats. This situation forces you to make beats faster and at the same time you don't want to make beats that doesn't fit the vibe of the video or you know you won't make a shitty beats in front of them so this uh, particular tip helped me a lot in many cases so the fifth tip is to know your sounds if you watch closely uh, nick mira selected his sounds even before making the beat so remember when i talked about uh, not able to make a beat for an hour or for us during those times just sit back and understand your sounds this will help boost your creative process. Just go through your library and uh, listen to the sounds that you have. Give your drum kits a glance and think about how best you can utilize those. This simple tip can save you hours looking for sounds when making beats. And finally, this is uh, my favorite tip. Enjoy making beats. 
Enjoy the process. Show up every single day. Make beats every single day. Trust your instinct and your creative brain. At first, your beats may sound shitty, especially when you're just starting out. So, but at that time, uh, enjoy the creative process and really fuck with your beats. If you do that, you can unlock your full potential and make fire beats faster than your peers. If you can't enjoy your beats, who else will? I hope this video helped you in any way and gave you a little hope. So if you like this video, smash that like button and comment what you want to see next. And don't forget to show some love to your boy by subscribing and clicking the bell icon. Catch you guys in the next one. Until then, you take care and don't forget, keep grinding. Peace.